Oh, Winston Link had once remarked that the advantages of night photography is that you can control your light source and emphasize the parts of the subjects that you want. Night photography is admittingly not my forte, at least not yet, but when I heard that the Sioux line SD60 number 6026 would be coming through the area, I was going to get a shot of it no matter what the lighting conditions were. My biggest concern was whether or not I would have enough flash power to effectively light something so big, and with virtually no available light, it was hard to get a solid focus on anything stationary, much less a moving target. But as the locomotives roared up the grade and passed my camera, and the great white flanks of the big EMD came into view, I composed, focused, and... Here's the result. There was a time when Sioux Line diesels were a common sight in northeastern Pennsylvania. But times change, and the common can quickly become the uncommon. In 2015, the Canadian Pacific exited the area and with it went the various diesels of its American acquisitions. But the uncommon became common again, at least for a little while after anyways, and a parade of Sioux Line diesels were seen spotted passing over their old stomping grounds.
On December 7, 2015, Sioux line number 6053 came down leading 30T into Enola, which you just saw. On February 9, in 2016, the 6027 came down on the former train 36T to Allentown. It made its way onto the former train 32A to Oak Island, where it was shuffled around and eventually found itself sitting in the engine staging yard at Enola, where I caught it almost two weeks later on February 20. A week and a half earlier, on February 10, the sister unit to the 6027, 6026, shown again, that's what came up fourth unit on the former train 14R. CP units also occupied the first and second engine positions. And wouldn't you know it, as fate would have it, number 6061, a Triclops SD60M, returned within the ranks of the 11R a few days after that on February 16. And as an added bonus on this train, check out that B&O covered hopper three cars from the end of the train. I've shot tens of thousands of railroad photos in all types of lighting conditions, 
And although I'll admit that it may not be Owen Stenling quality, this is one of those shots that I truly live the most for.